I was wasn't allowed to read them growing up, and my parents were like, Oh, what is this? And I was like, <laughs> well, uh, it's fake. Um, we brought together seven Harry Potter fans. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, like they win the entire prize. Like always. Who is the odd one out? I think the best thing to do right now is say your house and your paternus. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. idea. Yeah. Start with you. Okay. Ravenclaw, Otter. Okay, I'm a Hufflepuff and I'm a Shrew. Hufflepuff and Sugar Glider. Ravenclaw, Alchemy. Ravenclaw, Red Squirrel. Hufflepuff, Otter. <laughs> Gryffindor, Otter. I think I was most suspicious of Rachel. Her and I were the only ones that kind of came on full customs. Cause I was expecting everybody would um, do what? it. So when nobody did, I was well, like, guys, mm, guys, guys, who's read the book? What are they talking about? What what is that? Is that okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna ask questions, dude. Oh, okay, perfect. I'd rather, okay, I'd cool. What's your favorite book? Third. Okay. Goblet of Fire. The first one? Yeah. I'd say the seventh. I'd say Order of the Phoenix. I'm half Blood Prince, so. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. I was really suspicious of Cameron. He wasn't wearing real Hufflepuff gear. He wasn't talking as much, gear? so I thought he felt overwhelmed with the amount of material we were talking about. What's the spell that Hermione said in the second book when he, she fixed Harry's like glasses? Oculus Reparo. Yes. Yeah. What? She said what second book. Yeah. When there a, a diagonal, I know what you're getting at. It's not the second book. Yes, it is. It's yeah, she does it twice. Island. He was like, and I was like, whoa, and I so I got kind of like. Okay, defensive. chill out, wizard. Please yeah. be specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm. Um, okay, good catch. Good catch. Um, for the two Ravenclaws, what are the actual Ravenclaw colors? Oh, um, bronze. blue and bronze. bronze. When you have seven people, one minute is not enough. Everything was moving so fast, so it's hard to guess who else might it be. Wait, what? I was most suspicious guy. of Cameron because he didn't talk at all. Oh, Cameron has done this. <laughs> Sorry. I would have voted myself out. I feel like I took one breath and then I was gone. When did you guys start reading Harry Potter? Wait, yeah, that so they all have the their fucking... Book. The year they all their when fifth grade. My mom read it to our. Mm. our fifth Look at these guys. They all their when. Great class. I didn't read the books until seven years ago because I was born and raised in El Salvador. So over there, it was just too expensive for me to get the books. With my first salary, I bought my first Harry Potter book, which was the first book. My sister was a huge Harry Potter fan, but I was like a little scared because I saw Voldemort and like, is this like a horror movie? Mm. In high school, I had a really, really big crush on this guy, <laughs> and he was a big Potterhead, and I just wanted to really impress him. So a I started Potterhead. Reading all the books. And I, I watched all the movies. Nick, if you're watching this, <laughs> turn the video off. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to read them growing up, and my parents were like, "We don't want you to become a witch." And I was like, "Well, uh, it's fake." Uh, uh, Hufflepuffs. Yes. Who's your head of house? Uh, it's a uh, uh, Professor Sprout. Question for the Ravenclaws: What is your true mascot? It's a, oh. it's an oh. eagle. Oh. Um, for the Ravenclaws, who is our head of house? You mean the I founder? Mean, founder. founder of house. Is Rowena. Rowena. Now we need to question the question in the Gryffindor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Someone yeah, yeah. give me a question. All right, cool. What was Ludo Bagman known for? Oh, he's the um, Quidditch announcer, right? At the um, wait, they World got Cup? they got a medal already. I was like, oh, is that the wrong answer? I asked a question about Ludo Bagman, who's a character in the books who didn't Wait, make it her. into the movies. I was trying to see if she had actually read the books versus just maybe watching the movies or maybe just trying to study Yo, up. My heart is pounding right now because like, <laughs> I feel like I read so much fan fiction that I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you read fan fiction? Yeah, I'm like, what's canon? I need to ask you about that. Oh, did you read Isolation? Yes, of course, oh, okay, yes. okay, okay. That's Isolation is a fan fiction about a budding romance between Draco and Hermione. Yeah, of course I read it. It's a classic. And I have a, a question what? for you. Uh, why you didn't brought besides your Oh, one please. And like, okay, uh, first of all, <laughs> Harry Potter apparel is Come so expensive. On, I didn't wear any merchandise. It probably like gave a lot of people reason to suspect me. His shirt was comics related. <laughs> the mole will for sure have a one, but what about the rest of the clothes? What is your favorite scene from the books? Like something that it wasn't in the movie. Oh. That's a good question. Yeah. If everybody read the books, 
then they should be able to name a scene in the books that wasn't in the movies. Mine is when Dumbledore, uh, Voldemort died, because in the movies he died as, uh, like, the, he, he yeah, disintegrated, the but in the books yes, he yes. died as a mortal man. Uh, Ron and Hermione become prefects, and mean? Malfoy does too, and then mm -hmm. they're like, walking through school and Hermione's like, Harry, don't go picking around with Malfoy. He's a prefect now, he can make life difficult for you. And he goes, wow, I wonder what it would be like to have a difficult life. Honestly, I think it would be the Quidditch final in Prisoner of Azkaban, because there was, that, that just wasn't included in the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I really wish that they include, like, Peeves, the poltergeist, oh, throughout yeah. the whole, like, movies, like, he wasn't there. Oh, do you guys like Snape? Snape fans? Yes. No. I hate I Snape. He hurt yeah, the I think they got he him out of the right. branch. He the branch, and that's when he like showed effects. There's like, nothing in any of the books actually, in the they movies got him out that shows like, it was that the guy. he wasn't actually all about that life. In both in the books and, and the movies, I feel like all along, he has Dumbledore support. I don't know what's I don't like Dumbledore. <laughs> He's a manipulator. I don't like him. He's weird. Uzer was talking so Yo, much. Yo, stop he around, dude. He's giving all the facts that he study and speaking more so the rest don't get to talk. Yeah, yeah Dumbledore's a manipulator. He is literally, like, no, no, no. You like Dumbledore? Yeah. Okay, that'd be good. I look at each character as if, like, they're people. And Dumbledore's background with, with his thing with Grindelwald. So I feel like that makes him human at the same time. I can kind of relate to him. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have a tie. tie. Oh, please. The tie is between Kylie and Inzong. That means we're going into a tiebreaker. Each of you is going to get 20 seconds to state your case. I think like everyone here would know the quote um, at the end of the book when Peeves comes out into like the hall and says like, we did it, uh, we bashed them. We Potter's the one. Moldy has gone moldy. Um, <laughs> Moldy's gone moldy. I mean, I'm a late Potterhead, but I freaking love Harry Potter. I've been to like all the landmarks. I've what? been to Leadenhall Market. I've been to Black Park. I've been to the Elephant House, and I spent so much time there. Oh my god! And I've also been to Harry Potter World. Obviously, I'm just a really big Harry Potter, and I'm super nervous. She, she's this out. Is when, like so quiet in my black outfit. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Sorry. Sorry. This will be the favorite movie scene round. Each of you will get to tell the others what your favorite Harry Potter movie scene is and why. My favorite book, a movie is the third one, but my favorite scene is from the sixth one when Harry Potter, he drank Felix, like the lucky charm, and he's just walking and then like Professor Slughorn comes and he's like, Harry! And he's like, sir! When they are at the, uh, like dinner hall and each is eating like in their house um, tables. He started slurring <laughs> with the girl that he wanted to go. I'm forgetting her name. And he's like, I wanted water for this. I was staring into that bottle of water. This is like, weird. You know, the water. Guys, I, I don't know, <laughs> dude. He's just so nervous because flooring with her. The first one, I just screwed it up. So I was like, okay, painful. I have a backup. And I have another one. Harry gives Dobby the book with the sock and he mm, found this. He's like, oh, master, have give Dobby a sock. In Order of the Phoenix, the fight between Dumbledore and Voldemort is just crazy. Like, mm. that's the only reason I really like the Harry Potter movies is because it gave me a way to actually see what I've been reading since I was 10. It's like a flashback of James Potter and him, like, bullying yeah, uh, Snape and saying, oh, I'm taking down Snively's trousers. I think that's a very important scene to me because it shows that even though it's like someone to look up to, there's like flaws. Last, they yes, I thought it was done. Definitely all those when Hermione has to obliviate her parents. It's so sad. But it's a very Gryffindor thing for her to do to protect her parents by obliviating them. She doesn't even know if she can get their memories back. The most suspicious person, I think, was uh, Grecia because she blanked They're out still on voting. a couple things. I'm not a mogul. <laughs> She's not a mogul. I was really disappointed. I went in the whole effort to like come in a complete uniform. Maybe the mole felt like threatened, and that's why they got me out. <laughs> If you want to continue playing the game, please raise your hands in three, two, one. We'll vote one more time. In three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie mentioned her sister was a big Harry Potter fan. She could be wearing her sister's sweatshirt and using her sister's wand. Oh, I it's a wand, not a wand. Like Brian, he might be the least likely option, but that would be like the biggest gas moment. I'll do one last vote, <laughs> and that's it. Three, two, He's gonna vote one, the play. Go. <laughs> oh my god. 
think we've never had a situation like this. Oh. <laughs> what can I say? We're magical. Oh, please. One of you guys could be the moles because you guys wanted to end so you guys can get the money. There's no harm in just having another round, I think. I feel like we got the mole. All three of you guys have given some pretty like deep cuts. The level of material that we've been talking about, it's too intense that I think the mole wouldn't be able to spit out those facts so easily. I want to keep going because I'm just like a little bit suspicious and part of me is like, I need to like have it down to like <laughs> the last survivors. I don't know what to do anymore. Let's go for one last round of votes. If you want to continue playing, please raise your hand in three, two, one. Okay, Better not be anything like that. I will cruise. Yes, they won the first round. <laughs> so if the lights turn green, you guys win. Oh. If the lights oh turn God. red, the mole is still in the box and you lose. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. How surprising. So when it turned green, I was like, all right, cool, we're good. I was like, I'm really glad that I made it to the end. I'm very proud of myself. I'm, I'm sorry, Haley. I voted you several times. It's okay. I was, I was kind of suspicious of it's you. Green, now I feel I'm bad, sure. obviously. I, I was suspicious because you, you're like, you know so much. I was like, odd man, that's gonna psych me out. <laughs> Will the mole please step forward and reveal yourself in three, two, one? <laughs> oh shit! I'm so yeah. sorry. I'm so sorry. I am a Hufflepuff. I took, the, I took the quiz, but my roommate is a huge Potterhead. I was traumatized by Voldemort's no face when I was six in this movie. <laughs> and that's why I just never went back. Considering that I've never actually read any of the Harry Potter books, and I only watched like two of the movies, I think I did a pretty good okay, job. Well then, then. I am not into Harry Potter, and okay, I never I was be wrong, Harry you? Potter. I can already hear well the done. haters behind the screen. Well done. So you haven't read Isolation. I just studied about it. <laughs> that feels so really betrayed. That you did study and the fact that you brought a sweater props to you. He didn't, he didn't do it. Oh, I was gonna it's say. It's so expensive. I was gonna say that's <laughs> Okay, well that was kind of weird.